Hey, I'm Emma Shorty from schoolofscratch.com and in this video I'll teach you how to do the two-click flare, which sounds like this. The two-click flare is an open fader scratch which uses the same principle as the one-click flare and this time we use two fader clicks to cut the sample into three parts, creating three sounds on both the forward and reverse jog wheel movements. When the two click flare is performed on both the forward and reverse jog wheel movements like this, we call it a two click flare orbit because it is a continuous looping pattern. As with the one click flare, this scratch is about positioning your fader clicks in the correct places over the baby scratch jog wheel movements. We can learn to do this scratch by breaking it into two parts using the same open fader principles as the one click flare, turning the sound off rather than cutting it on. Firstly, the forward jog wheel movement and fader clicks. Secondly, the reverse jog wheel movement and fader clicks. Find the beginning of your sample and make sure the fader is open. Push the jog wheel forward and as soon as you hear the sample play, click the fader off and on twice to cut the sound into three. Stop moving the jog wheel near the end of the sample. Next we will try doing the same two fader clicks over the reverse jog wheel movement. Rewind the jog wheel and as soon as you hear the reverse sound, Cut the fader off and on twice to once again cut the sound in three. So let's see that all together again. Focus on executing the two clicks over the baby scratch jog wheel movements. Once you're starting to create three clean sounds consistently, you can start to link up both forward and reverse movements in a continuous looping motion. Notice how just two fader clicks creates three sounds, which is way more efficient than the transform which needs three clicks to make three sounds. We can also perform this scratch by taking our hand off the jog wheel for the forward movement, then rewinding it as normal. Try both methods and then you can switch it up and be flexible. Faster flares tend to be easier if you keep your hand in contact with the jog wheel at all times. Let's hear how it sounds over a beat. together over a beat. I'll perform two click flares for four bars, then leave a gap for you to reply for four bars.
up the two click flare. Keep practicing to build up your technique consistency and flow. If you'd like to dive in deeper with learning how to scratch, visit schoolofscratch.com and sign up for my complete how to scratch course. <laughs>